welcome my friends to a new episode of Connect Your Speech. In today's episode, we're going to talk about another feature of Connected Speech. We will talk about elision. And to be more specific, we will talk about the elision of the vest sound. Now, for those who do not remember what elision is, elision is the omission of one or more sounds in a word or phrase. But why does it happen? That's a good question. Simply because we want our pronunciation to be faster and smoother. Now, back again to the elision of the vest sound, which is today's topic. And the vest sound is a labiodental fricative sound. What does that mean? When I say it's labiodental, I mean that it is pronounced by your lower lip towards your upper teeth. And when we say fricative, we refer by that to the friction produced by the air trying to leave between the lower lip and the upper teeth. This kind of friction, look at this. Lower lip, upper teeth. Now, the consonant sound V is omitted in the preposition of when it's followed by a consonant. For example, let's look at this one. One of the guys. In connected speech, we would say one of the guys. One of the guys. So you may say one of the guys called me last night. Another example, a waste of time. In connected speech, it would be a wasted time, a wasted time. Like you might say, why are you doing this? This is a wasted time. Hmm. One more example, a piece of paper. Again, in connected speech, you would say a piece of paper, a piece of paper. So when you're speaking quickly, you can say, I need a piece of paper. I need a piece of paper. Now, let's listen to some examples from British, American and Australian native speakers. Let's go. But there are tons of people working on this, from financial institutions to technology companies, startups and universities. And one of the reasons is that it's not just an economic evolution. It's also an innovation in computer science. The melting glaciers in Greenland are one of the largest contributing factors to rising sea levels, which have already begun to drown some of our world's lowest-lying islands. That robot can't empathize. It doesn't face death. It doesn't know life. And as that woman took comfort in her robot companion, I didn't find it amazing. I found it one of the most wrenching, complicated moments in my 15 years of work. Happiness comes not from finding the answers, but in seeking better questions, right? And so in the age of the internet, where any query, where any piece of data, knowledge, or insight is a Google search away, you come to wonder, are we living in a world where wonder is expressed more intensely? Because any time I wonder about something, I can look up the answer. And his son explained that a piece of paper fell on the floor. And when he bent over to pick it up, he could see through the bottom of the glass table that there was a picture of a man on the back of all the little pieces. So if you think about that scene in Up, where the boy hands the piece of chocolate to the bird, that 10 seconds took one animator almost six months to perfect. Which is the other point I've made inside our company, is I frankly could care less if someone uses a piece of plastic Someone clicks, someone waves a phone. The nosy old git. I often come back from the supermarket with me bag of cabbages and see he's hiding behind his net curtains, spying on me with a pair of binoculars. Ten supernova per second explodes somewhere in our universe. If we could hear it, it would be popping like a bag of popcorn. 
So at least this monster whale was dumber than a bag of prehistoric hammers and could not chase you if you dove or scrambled out on dry land, probably forever. Art would pick up the duty that it used to have and that we've neglected because of certain misfounded ideas. Art should be one of the tools by which we improve our society. Art should be didactic to the way that I work. Mm. And so that could sometimes, that was one of the kind of dangers of being artists in residence at the National Gallery is that you, you feel you need to engage in that um, way of painting that, you could, that you're not set up for in a mm. way. And that there's, there's at least a hundred years between where this ends and, and my practice begins. Pace, I can get very, very excited by saying something really, really quickly, or I can slow right down to emphasize and at the end of that, of course, is our old friend, silence. But also it comes with this idea that, um, you know, he came to paint these uh, men, you know, it's particularly towards the end of their lives, the older men, um, but also as figures who were in poverty. The Cathedral of St. John the Baptist, with its imposing double spire, has a commanding position at the end of the street. It's possible to do audio tours of the cathedral, and at certain times the towers are available to climb. And it turns out I'm fascinated with lifts, for lots of reasons. But because lifts are one of the places you can see the future. In the 21st century, lifts are interesting because they're one of the first places that AI will touch you without you even knowing it happened. One of the major functions is that it communicates emotion. It's really good at it. That tends to make people shut down. Not just from the conversation, but even from the relationship. That it's actually one of the causes of unfriending, online and off. Terence Tao is one of the world's best mathematicians. He has won math's top prize, the Fields Medal, and many would consider him a genius. We don't have to process that from the sugarcane. We could also look at it a different way and say, well, each square block in Minecraft is one meter by one meter, so one meter squared. One meter squared of sugarcane will usually yield about a kilo of sugar. So there's quite a bit of variation there. Obviously, we have two piles of sugar, and with those calculations, we can go anywhere between 800 grams and two kilos of sugar, depending on how much you want to use in your cake recipe. So we've got a bit of wiggle room there, which is good. Next, they had broccoli. You would need to eat 960 grams or nearly a kilo of broccoli to get the same amount of calcium as you would in this glass of milk. I don't even know how they thought that broccoli had more calcium than milk because it doesn't even gram for gram. I'm not sure where they got that from. Then there's cabbage. You would need to eat 860 grams of cabbage. In 10 minutes about the bonds of women over three generations, about how the astonishing strength of those bonds took hold in the life of a four-year-old girl, huddled with her young sister, her mother and her grandmother, for five days and nights in a small boat in the China Sea more than 30 years ago. Traffic and vehicle and regulatory offences were a third of those appearing in the criminal courts. My name's John Scott and I'm a professor and head of the School of Justice at QUT. Our team of over 20 full-time staff at QUT have spent their careers preventing crime, supporting the victims of crime, creating policies to address crime, and, like many other people, trying to understand the why, what, when, where, and how of the facts like those that I just cited. But improbable isn't impossible. And so when you observe the nucleus, it'll collapse into one of these two states, either business as usual or a nuclear decay. Now, sometimes the V sound can be elided in rapid speech before the M sound in the verbs give, have, and leave. For example, give me a chance becomes give me a chance. Do you have my number becomes do you have my number? Leave me alone becomes leave me alone. Now let's listen to some examples from British, American and Australian native speakers. Let's go. Why is the sky blue? Just give me a couple minutes and I'll let you know why. This is the world's most asked question. And he asked me, he said, Joe, could you get, give me a report within a month of a comprehensive approach is what we should do about gun safety in America. 
Mm-hmm. And then I put him down on one end and I started rolling it, rolled him into a taco and he loved it. Yeah. <laughs> he laughed so hard. And then he wouldn't leave me alone. He just wanted to do that like 10 times. I said, you're the fool that married him and now I have to mediate your divorce. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Finally, he starts running, trying to run away. I'm chasing him across, shouting out in the zone, me king, me king. Leave me alone, right? So he reported me. Three. I'm allowed three, aren't yeah. I? Yeah. Plausible. Plausible. <laughs> okay. Or whatever. Go and give me three. Right. We've I'm got, sitting in front got of... got 30 seconds for both of you. I'm f- sitting in front of her. Okay. Um, <laughs> my first one would be actually, in terms of climate, that every government policy must be viewed through the lens of climate change. But what I allowed them to do was feel confident enough and, and, and um, relaxed enough to give me that tiny bit of arrogance that tiny bit of aggression um, and assurance. Hey, 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 no, no, not the hair, not the hair. Jeez. Back at the scratching post, are we? Is it fun? Don't give me that look. I just I went for it. I knew that there was the guarantee. That was kind of what part of what did it was like, if it's awful, they said they'll give me my money back. Okay, I trust London Real as a brand and as a, a company. You're not just some random person on the internet that's gonna walk away with my money. Well, if I give my children normal chocolate, more, more, give me more, give me more, give me more. Why does daddy want to live so far from us? Oh, we've talked about this, Ryan, please don't start that again. Here, give me your plate, you must be starving. I don't! I don't want to start anything before he comes. No, I love a burger, leave me alone. Putting out vinyl next month, just just vinyl release, and everyone's going, why not putting on an MP3? I'm like, because I don't fucking need to. Yes. I sell paintings. Mm. Leave me alone. <laughs> One day wake up and say, hey, give me arms and legs. I need arms and legs. Do you feel like you're ready to compete? Not right today, but give me a couple of weeks, yeah, for sure. It's all for the internet. Like, give me a damn break. Jesus. Like, I just didn't want to have under eye circles. Listen to you anyway. I'm a good teacher. I'm a good footballer. You didn't play at NRL. What would you know? You're, you've never been published. What would you know about my writing? I'm getting 20 out of 20. Leave me alone. I'm sweet. Yeah. This was it, and what I know now, this would have been gold. We got some of it, but I kicked him out of the room. I said, oh, leave me alone, I don't want to do this. I'm, forget the movie, I'm dying here. So my friends, this was another feature of Connected to Speech. If you like this video, don't forget to press like, leave a comment, and subscribe to British Training Centre channel. I will be down there in the comments to respond to your question. This was... Shadi Abu Yusuf. Bye-bye for now.